Hey there. So one of the hardest things for health coaches is writing ads to attract their ideal client. So today I want to give you two important tips to help you write ads that will attract your ideal client and keep your ads from sounding like an ad. If you're new to me, my name is Nicole Piper. I'm a former brand marketing executive for companies like MTV, Nickelodeon, and The Sharper Image turned health and wellness copywriter and brand strategist. For the past five years, I've taken everything I learned in helping turn those great companies into multi-million dollar global brands and adapted it for health coaches just like you. And since then, my approach has helped over 500 coaches build low maintenance six and seven figure businesses. So they're free to give more time to the people they love and the good work they're doing in the world. So why is it important to keep your ads from sounding like an ad? Well, because people don't like to be sold to. So the moment they sense something is an ad, they're likely to click away. And the thing that often makes an ad sound like an ad is the way it tries to attract their ideal client. Of course, you need to make it clear who your ad is for in the copy, but that doesn't mean that it's necessarily a good idea to blatantly call out who the ad is for. If you do, it signals it's an ad. Now, this is particularly true on a platform like, let's say, Facebook. It's much better to write an ad that sounds more like it's a post because that's what people usually put on Facebook. That's what's organically there, right? Posts. So you want to do the same thing. You want your ads to look more like a post. So I want to show you an example. And this is um, with, uh, with a client I was working with who has a coaching program for Christian business owners who need to lose weight. Now, first off, I actually wasn't a real fan of his target audience. I was fine with the Christian part because their solution uh, is geared towards Christians. So for example, you know, they'll talk about scriptures in their program or they'll use prayer. So that really needs to be something a person is, is into, right? In order for them to be a good fit for their program. But the business owner part to me seemed kind of like unnecessary specificity. You know, so what does being a business owner have to do with having a weight problem or really with their solution to losing? it. So, you know, couldn't, let's say, a Christian employee or, you know, a CEO have the same problem? Yeah, they could. So it was really kind of irrelevant, but it was really my client's personal preference. And that would just mean that he would have to handle his ads very carefully so they didn't sound salesy. So I'm going to show you exactly what we were working with here. So let me share my screen. Okay. Actually, it's the second part. So here we go. So this is what he brought to me. It says, there are many things Christian business owners can do to maintain a healthy weight. So that's the way he actually started his ad. But right away, you know, it reminds me of those um, those ads where it was like, you know, attention homeowners, you know, um, something like that, right? Where they're really calling out who the ad is for. So this to me smells like an ad, right? So I have a couple of examples of ways that he could do it differently. So here's one. He could actually tell his story because he is a Christian business owner had a weight problem. So he could start off here. Um, when I first started my own business, it felt like all I did was work. There was so much to do. I was so focused on my business that I neglected my own health. Well, I'll never forget the day I looked in the mirror. Staring back at me was a man 30 pounds overweight. I thought to myself, this certainly isn't the body God intended me to have. So there you go. I mean, this has, you know, it's a story. So people are much more engaged in stories. So they'll be more likely to, to pay attention to this. But the other thing is it definitely checks off the box of, you know, being a story about a business owner and a Christian man, right? So a Christian business owner. So we, we accomplished it without actually calling them out. Now, here's a shorter version. Um, so your ad can start this way. It seems that people who own their own business work harder than anyone, but that doesn't mean they have to sacrifice the healthy way God intended them to have. So again, the same sort of thing, right? Where it's actually, um, you know, really calling out who it's for without blatantly saying who it's for. So there you go. A couple of examples there to uh, to really help. So the takeaway here is number one, you want to make sure that when you're writing ads, that your ad blends in with the platform, right? So that that way it, it still have a much better chance of people reading them instead of them saying, oh my God, this is an ad, you know, I'm not interested. And the second is you want to use messaging that will attract your ideal client instead of blatantly calling them out. So there you go. I hope you found these tips helpful and thanks for tuning in. If you like this, please go ahead and click the like button and subscribe so you don't miss an episode and I'll see you next time. That's all for now. Bye-bye.